have it on live. Yeah, Hello, just hang on. We're just getting all set up here on YouTube. Okay. Are we all set, Deirdre? I have on Instagram, started. Facebook, and YouTube all set up. So big, big welcome, everybody. Happy Friday. And I think we better do the weather forecast around the country because it's absolutely pure shite in Dublin. Lash and rain. I think it started raining last night, and it hasn't let up at all. So listen, anybody who's watching, start introducing yourself and give us what's the weather forecast. We might as well say around the world because we do have students and followers who tune in from all over the world. Now, what have we got planned for you today? Well, I want to go through a selection of silk flowers that Evergreen Silk Plants sent on to us today. Now, my plan was to do a silk arrangement, but I'm feeling a little bit heebie-jeebie today. So I'm going to just stick with maybe just the one arrangement. we we'll go for the fresh. But listen, I promise you, next maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll be feeling back on top of the world again. And I'm definitely going to come on specially to do an artificial arrangement with you. But I just said I'd go through some of the silk stuff that Evergreen Silk Plant sent out to us and give you a couple of ideas of what you could use the stuff for. Have you anyone watching, Deirdre? There's a few people watching, all right. Are you a bit slow coming on? They're a bit, bit slow. Like it's a bit today. like you. Yeah, a bit like you. Yeah, definitely a bit like you today. Oh, a bit, I bit think it's the weather, side. everybody. I think, I think it's the weather. the weather. So listen, um, we would absolutely love if you click share. And that way, like for our algorithm on Facebook, it helps to get the word out there. So during the week, we've got a fabulous surprise from Charlie in Evergreen Silk Plants. I'm going to put his link in the comments today. And um, he, I have to say, the response back from any of the followers who have bought the stuff from him, they've been, first of all, they're amazed at how fast they get the stuff. Literally, next day, second day of delivery. And talk about being on the ball. You know the way Charlie, he's not on the ball where his website is concerned. But he's on the ball with getting the stuff sent out to you. So this was one of the bases that came in the surprise box there during the week, these straw bases. It was gas. My husband actually opened the box when it arrived, and he was, oh, that's, now you'd know a man made that. And here I am, that's probably had to come from China, Tom. I know, I know, he says, you'd know a man made that base. He said, that's a good, strong straw base. But I have to say, it's as solid as anything. And this would do for an outdoor wreath or an indoor wreath. And what I was planning on doing was using a selection of artificial flowers on it. You know that way. So I'm going to leave that till probably Tuesday, dear. We'll give you plenty of yeah. notice what day we're going to come on. But I just, as I said, a lot on today, not feeling the best. You know that way. So I said, we'll just stick to maybe the one arrangement. But I'm not sure, Charlie, if you are watching, not sure if he is on, because I forgot to tell him what I was doing and what I wasn't doing. He'll probably post the prices because actually I don't know the price. But do you know when I unpacked the box? This was in it. Anybody any idea what name it is? I'm sure if Charlie's watching, he'll be able to tell you. Like, dear, Sinead was thinking, was it um, Wisteria? I was thinking, anybody with a per pergola, wouldn't this be, or a drinking tent, you know that way? Because pergola is a posh name for a drinking tent, basically. Wouldn't they be fabulous hanging down? Do you know that way? Whether it be along your back wall or even in the centre, they are just absolutely gorgeous. But anybody for bridal work and you wanted to do an artificial sample, wouldn't they be gorgeous as having trails coming down out of your wedding bouquet? So they are artificial. Everything here I'm showing you is artificial. But artificial silk everlasting flowers is definitely all on top. Now, what I have here is this jip. Again, it's very, and something I have mentioned before, it's very hard to get a good artificial looking, fresh looking jip. But this stuff is absolutely amazing. It's really, really good. Even the leaf on it is good because sometimes I find I use the flower, but I'm not as inclined to use the foliage on it. But I have to say, I think that is really, really good. Charlie says, yes, trailing wisteria is what it is. All right, we weren't far off there. That's great. And the weather seems to be shite everywhere. 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 Yeah. London, yeah, Birmingham, Manchester, Derry, Cork, Limerick. Yeah, everywhere. Shite Irish over. town, it's shite. Weather is shite. It's just mad, isn't it? Like yesterday, we were only saying, like, you know, when the flashback, the memories kind of pop up on Facebook. And, you know, what I mean, like last year, I'm here in a summer dress. I tanned, we're all sitting outside. It was still the lockdown last week, last year, but we all looked gorgeous because the weather was fabulous. It's just, it's depressing. I think that's why I feel bad today. Isn't yeah. it? I think I could do it a sun holiday. I think you should, yeah. When you talk to me, hold me hold, Martin, and ask him, is there any chance of us getting away on holidays? Okay, do you remember why I used these artificial uh, blossoms 
Do you remember in the artificial uh, basket I did there a couple of weeks ago? So these are all the other colours that it comes in. Aren't they just beautiful? Now, again, they would be brilliant on the door reach. You could break them up individually, but you could use them as little trails, you know, like to kind of create your horseshoe trail. See all the different colours that it comes in and even the white. They will be beautiful for flower arrangements. You know that way, even for coming up through your arrangements, obviously not all the same colours together, but I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Another one now, I love these. Remember last week we were talking about the scabby balls, okay, now these aren't scabby balls. Again, if Charlie is watching, he can give us the proper name for them. They're not the Billy Balls either. Okay, Stacey says she's in Manchester, but in Massachusetts, well, MD, USA, and it's sunny and warm. Sorry. You're making us mad, jealous, Stacey. <laughs> Beck off. Get off the channel. Share with us. And then back off. And I see Nesha's. Um, Net is some in on Instagram is on from Brisbane in Australia and the weather is lovely as well. Oh, well you said, Sorry. Off too. Go away, go away on that. You're making us mad to jealous here. <laughs> Aren't these gorgeous? Aren't the colours of them fabulous? And again, for using true flare arrangements, or again, even your door reads, they'd be beautiful. Now he sends us a fabulous range of these. Again, they're like a kind of a little mini lily. They're not an Alstomeri. I don't really know what kind of flare they are. But again, they are beautiful, very, um, well, I can't say realistic because I don't know what they are, <laughs> what are they realistic? but they are a lovely little flower. And again, they can all be broken up. You can wear and take them for making in flower arrangements or again, like glued onto your door wreath arrangements. Fabulous. Now, this was definitely my favorite out of the box. This is the Viburnum. You'd never know that that was artificial. That is, like even the leaf on it. It's so realistic. Like, I think that's beautiful. Again, if you were using it in, why are you laughing at? Charles says um, that they're, Charlie says that they're just on the site as decorative fillers, but he might change the name to Scabby Balls. <laughs> no, that'll only put people off. <laughs> Billy Balls would be a nicer name. But this is absolutely beautiful, this stuff. You know, that way, like to use to a wedding bouquet, not even a fresh wedding bouquet, it's so realistic looking, like the little buds half open, closed. You know, that way beautiful it is so i think for flower range and this would be a fantastic flower we use with some of the really nice hydrangeas like say a cream or a green hydrangea some nice kind of like tall maybe bamboos kind of coming up in the background and to use these kind of like grouped through it i think they would be fabulous i loved them i did now love these and again we were putting with we a few other selections of colors and we were putting them together for maybe going on the straw ring and they just gorgeous as the sunflowers like there's two little bunches of them but, like, again, they would work out great value. And I find they're a good size sunflower. Sometimes the sunflower in artificial is too big to try and use, where I just think they're a perfect size. But I know Charlie has got bigger ones, and maybe to use some of the bigger ones as being your main flower, and then some smaller ones, you know, they as little filler ins. Aren't they gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, they really are very nice. pretty. Yeah. And these, even though these are plastic, and, you know, I'm not normally into plastic, you know the way. But I actually thought these were different, you know the way. They weren't as plasticky looking as some plastic kind of like silk flowers or dried flowers look like. And again, I was thinking if you were doing a door reach to have one or two of these, like to give you your crescent or your half moon shape, I thought they looked really well. Again, Evergreen Silk Plants is the name. A couple of people are asking what's the name of the company. Evergreen Silk Plants and they're up in Drogheda. Rd County Loud. Rd County. We know what county that is. So County Loud for that. Again, another type of artificial jip. More of a plastic one, I'd much prefer the other one, you know, but you know, broken up on its own, it's fine. It's single just the plastic stem on it or when it's all together. So if you were to break them up, and do you remember I showed you how to wire and tape a couple of weeks ago, and you were to rest them onto a wire and tape, they'd be absolutely perfect. There's loads in that bunch. So again, maybe if um, Charlie could be posting the prices there, he sells both retail and wholesale. So when you're buying from him, let him know whether you're buying wholesale or retail and he'll be able to help you out. Neil Farrell says, how are you keeping? I'm not keeping great. I've been fucking honest. I'm not feeling great. But listen, the, <laughs> the show, show has to go, go on. on. <laughs> so I'm here now, slapped on the makeup, done the hair or whatever, put on a new hairband and said, let's get out there and do this. What was the name of this one, Leah? We looked it up. Cosmos. Oh, the Cosmos. Yeah, I'm not sure if it is Cosmos. Maybe Charlie can let us know. And again, a lovely flare to break up and wire and tape individually. Definitely brilliant for your 
jewelry do you see the way with well, there's two stems on it you know what i mean so again you could curve that around and again gluing it again i'll give you loads of ideas like when it comes to the jewelry because i've lots of different bases i've loads and loads of silk flowers and like she wants to have the glue gun going and the tube of glue i'll be able to fly through a lot of them and i will i promise you this you know what i mean i will do them and then this stuff i wasn't mad about this stuff you know what i mean again i'm very honest just because i got the stuff doesn't mean i'm going to say it's brilliant um, bit plasticky for my liking, but then that's me. I'm not mad into the kind of plastic stuff. But I'm going to pick out the lilac ones, okay, and maybe the dark purple ones. And I am going to show you how I'm going to use them mixed in with fresh flowers. And I feel they're going to work mixed in with the fresh flowers, okay? So I, they came in different colors. So I kind of have a lilac and a dark purple one. But also it came in lemons, whites, kind of oranges as well. So maybe this. This is something that you could do, you know, for any of you that are working at home and you're making a flower arrangement. And often I'd say, now a little bit of filler, whether it be jip or solid aster or wax flower or limonium, you know, something as a filler. And you haven't got something, you know, when you're working at home. I feel this will work out really well as a little filler, as a little texture. So we'll see how it goes anyway. So I'm going to leave that to one side. Now, last week we done hat boxes. And I know the amount of messages that we got afterwards about the hat boxes because it just seems to be impossible to get hat boxes. But Charlie took to him because I knew he had hat boxes up there. So he sent me a, a set of them, okay? So they come in a set of three. This is the larger one. And I'm going to use the medium one and the smaller one with you today, right? I don't know the prices. So, of course, again, he was a bit disorganized. He had no prices in the box. But he's watching. So he put the prices up for you. So I'm sure the price is for the set of three, okay? And the price is the price, because you know the way normally with a wholesaler, it's price plus fat, but the price is basically all inclusive, whatever Charlie gives up. So I love these, and even though they have a gold lid, these will, I'm gonna work with both lids today. You've seen me work with hat boxes where I don't use the lid, or the hat box that I used last week didn't come with a lid. Now they're not plastic lined, which is fine. The ones I used last week weren't plastic lined, but the large bulb bowl fits down perfectly into it, okay? So you can put your block of oasis down into your bulb bowl, strap it in with a bit of anchor tape, and drop it down into the box. The three hat boxes are 1950. That's American. Yeah. So it's 1950 divided by three. Work it out roughly. 20 divided by 21 divided so by 37. So nine seven, euros. So less than seven, six fifty. Nine euros, six euros, and yeah, whatever's left over, four or five euros. That'd be great value. This is the medium one, okay? Now what I did find is they're quite tall. You know, you've seen that with the larger one as well. So a little trick for you: get some dry foam any sort of foam it can be wet foam that's not wet you know that sort of way or it could even be the agro wool so this is just two pieces of dry foam that was floating around the place here or as somebody said them. before an upside down butter dish yeah absolutely that's a great idea yeah upside down butter dish upside down soup bowl anything at all it's just something like an ice cream bowl something that you can put down inside that so again i'm using the bowl bowl and can you see the way it fits the well, it's not a block of foam. It's just over half a block of foam. I have an anchor taped in, and it sits down. You can see there, just perfect. Now, you could cut the dry oasis smaller, and you can have it sit down more into the box if you want to. But I'm actually quite happy with how that's sitting in today. And then for little baby bear, because it's like daddy bear, mammy bear, and baby bear. So for the baby bear, I'm just here. Isn't it great having all this stuff here beside <laughs> me? Oh, I'll tell you, I'm spoiled rotten, and then I can't find the right container I'm looking for. So these are our posy dishes or saucer dishes as some people call them and the inside here holds a third of a block of foam but if you look you can see i used just under a half a block of foam because i used the other half of what was left over so in the medium half box i used a, just over half a block and whatever was left over which was just under a half a block it fit in perfect into that foam and then i anchor taped it in but you know what's the great thing and you think charlie made this these just sit perfectly on top of it, which is absolutely great because now I don't need, I'll show you now the oasis set into it. Now I don't need um, the dry oasis underneath. And also you get away with using a lot less flowers and a lot less material. And uh, Red One is asking, is there sensitivity to flowers if they have them in their house for a long time? To the, to the person, did you mean? Yeah. Well, some people would have asthma, you know, that way, and they could be allergic to certain flowers lilies probably would be the very obvious one that people would be allergic to them you know now some people would be allergic to the sap on some of the flowers like alstroemeria and chrysanthemum sometimes people would find but there's lots more of them that do cause a skin irritant 
it's gas like nothing nothing knocks me you know that sort of way i must be as tough as old nails nothing bothers me but the agro wool do you remember the agro wool we used a few weeks ago i found i was slightly allergic to that i got a little bit of a rash and a bit of a niche from that but very few things like i find so listen if you know you're prone to asthma breathing problems or you're all, you already know you're allergic lilies is probably the main one to stay away from stephanie says sorry you're not feeling well thanks for doing the live anyway makeup and hair and a beautiful white short um, and i'm making amazing... you don't look you don't look too bad you don't look under the weather she said i know this is it like sinead or sinead was there this morning and um, she was saying oh how are you feeling like i had a lousy night last night and i saw a few grand had a shower hair was still wet you know the way went upstairs came back down then half an hour later with the makeup and all dressed up or whatever and she says she look a million dollars now but then she is my sister she'll always tell me i look great and um, linda says why are you using wet oasis i think because she... i'm going to use fresh flowers yeah, yeah i think yeah. maybe they thought you were going yeah. to yeah and i could have done it in artificial but you know what i had the fresh flowers already in and my plan was to do artificial and fresh today and i had told charlie i'd do it an artificial one so unfortunately i'm not going to so uh, i just wanted to show the artificial flowers that we that we had and i will do them on tuesday and i'll probably do the large hat box in all artificial yeah on tuesday and kind of to give us an idea you know that way so i'm doing fresh today and you can see what i've just done there oh the daisies no nope, that didn't work as good as i thought it was going to work probably the weight on it just get a piece of dry foam let's set a piece of dry foam into the bottom of it so where i talk now that they were brilliant because they fit the cozy dish you can see them when i put but this is a live show we never go on nothing has been done in advance so I'm now going to put the block of dry foam down into the bottom of it, sit it on top. What's the effect so I won't go down into it now? Go down into the feckin' thing now that I want you to go down. Anyway, it's a wedge down in there a bit. Do you know, it's just on the, it'll go down and yeah. it won't go down. Do you know that sort of way? So I'm going to try and push it down into it. I can't get that part down into it. Okay, it's down in it and it's crooked. But listen, I'm going to show you, we can work with crooked. It's not a problem. We work with crooked, okay? And I'll just put another piece of anchor tape across it to be sure, to be sure, to be pecking well sure. And just make sure when you're putting the extra piece of anchor tape that you go across the piece that you've already done, that you're not going to take up any circle space on it, okay? And then we'll just throw that down there. Hey, and with someone this one, she's tuning in. Um, you need a bit of a lift. Um, we all need a bit of a lift with this dreadful weather. I know it's awful, isn't it, Kay? Absolutely terrible. And it's pouring. Breeze is on there, and she's pouring in Dulik. It's absolutely awful. All right, so you must be up. No, Dulik is not RD near. Well, it's up around that, around that same way. Yeah, so place, you must be up it? near yeah. near Charlie. So you can probably call in and collect the stuff off. Him. Yeah, because we'd be open now for open. Yeah, are you open, open yet, Charlie? For people calling in or whatever, you can let us know. Okay, greenery wise today, I'm going to use pistachio. Now, I know you're going to say it's not called pistachio, but she neither was the Silver Sussex. The Silver Sussex, the proper name of it was Sussex Silver, but all case Flair School followers now call it Silver Sussex because I call it Silver Sussex because I think Silver Sussex works better. But Sussex Silver sounds like you're saying it backwards, doesn't it? So we call it Silver, silver Sussex, so you now call it Silver Sussex. So then Deirdre produced this green leaf the other day and she said it's called pistache. And I said, that sounds like you're saying it wrong, Deirdre. That should be pistachio. You know what I mean? Like the nuts. Or, do you remember that ice cream you got last week? Bro? Oh, yeah. Where was that place? Oh, Gino Gelatos. Oh, my God. If any of you are having any sort of a get-together, right? And what to explain just how eat. Came. Yeah, just eat. Order on, no, Deliveroo, actually. Deliveroo. And it comes in like styrofoam cold but it's the soft ice cream that you know gelato has and you know the hard cones so not them you know the wafer cones that go real soft and mushy these are the crunchy cones biscuit that are biscuit, like the yeah. biscuit cones that like would be on a proper cornetto like you could enjoy eating the cone it doesn't just fall apart in your hand and you, it's this sounds awful but it tastes like holy communion you know that way <laughs> but these cones are not like that they are much much nicer and one of the flavours that Deirdre got was pistachio, and it was gorgeous. And I think this creamy is gorgeous, so we're going to call it pistachio. But if you want to be proper about it, pistache is the proper name. Great long-lasting foliage. And again, I've seen, said it a couple of times, is we're in the season now where the Irish growers are not cutting their foliage, okay? The likes of the eucalyptus and the pittosporum. And even in your own garden, you probably have your eucalyptus and your pittosporum growing. You're finding it's all the new shoots. So you're going to have two problems. One problem is if you cut it, the new shoe falls over, like it's just going to wilt, brew or shrimp, okay? And the second problem is you'll have no growth next year because you're after cutting all the growth off your tree. 
So you shouldn't be cutting your eucalyptus and your pittosporum and a lot of like your foliage at the moment, but this is something that is available and all the flower shops will be selling it. Okay, there's just a couple of messages here. Um, again, they're all asking, hope you're feeling better soon. Um, I mean, I'm a mixture of foliage here, so I'm having to work from the big one and the small one, you know what I mean, because of a bundle cut. So basically what I'm doing is I'm doing a circle around the outside, cleaning off the ends and just sticking it in and keeping them low down. Some of these pieces are bigger, so I'm going for the other one. Now, with the other one, the oasis is lower down in the container, as you can see. So it's, it's kind of sticking up slightly, but you'd have to be fine as well. It's just the way it worked, and it was just the way I had the oasis cut. I could have taken it out and cut the oasis lower, but I didn't bother me arse. So I just left it the way it was. Christina's on, and she's watching in from Brisbane in Queensland in Australia. I'm sure it's probably lovely and warm down here. Emer said it's, it's a waffle cone. Well, yeah, that's yeah, that's the next. See, we don't know things here. We're a little bit ignorant we are, <laughs> and they are absolutely gorgeous here. Now there was other flavors of the ice cream, just in case anybody there is allergic to nuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my husband loved the vanilla, but my husband is one of these when he goes to a restaurant. You know that way. You know the way he said, "I just want plain ice cream." And of course, when they bring out the plain vanilla ice cream, they put sparkles, as we call them. You know the little sprinkles, sprinkles on top of it. You know that way. And of course, Tom is in the restaurant. He's saying two scoops of vanilla ice cream, no sparkles, no sprinkles, no lights, no candles, no nothing, just plain ice cream. He's just, he's a typical culture, he just likes things plain. Well, that's Mar a typical culture where he's from anyway. Margaret Mitchell says, I wish I looked that well when I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what a bit of foundation will do. And um, what's your one, Amy? Oh, what's maybe that concealer? Oh, Amy Conley. Amy Conley's concealer, I tell you, conceals everything. I have a spread all over my face. Mary O'Keefe, she says, have, uh, she's making apple tarts and rhubarb tarts. Oh, Jesus, well. uh, Jesus apple Mary, tarts. drop them up, will you? Yeah, absolutely. Are you in Dublin, are you? Because you're like, you are allowed well, so you are allowed well so your county now. Janet wants to know what's the name of the foliage you're using. Pistachio. Pistachio. <laughs> like the nuts. So think of nuts. Um, and the best wishes to Margaret Mitchell. She's in hospital today getting her treatment. She will. So the very best of luck. She's in Sligo General. So if anybody else is listening in from Sligo General, look out for Margaret there. I'm sure she likes a, she likes a, a brandy. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have a spare bottle of brandy, float it around. Absolutely. <laughs> drop it into her. Because I'd say she'd be feeling shy tonight. Oh, Geraldine Collins says the bourbon vanilla ice cream in Lidl is the best. Oh, oh I, I think haven't... Margaret would like that one. I think Margaret would like that one. Is bourbon brandy, is it? Kind of is, yeah. Is it, yeah. yeah, I think it is, yeah. Is it? Is it? Oh, there you go. But, um, anyway, I just, just went around to circle around the outside there. Don't turn that one too much on the side because you know it's a bit unlevel as it is. And then we'll work onto this one here, filling this one around. Now, because of a couple of small ones, I'm just sticking them in the centre. So, do you see when I move against this counter and moves? This is our new counter and it's on wheels. And I know someone's going to say, well, you know, when you buy wheels, you can buy brakes on them. And yes, we do. And we did. Two of the wheels have brakes on them. And two of the wheels have no brakes on them, you know that way. And they're like the trolley brakes, you just push your foot down on it. But by fuck, you can't get the, the, the brake back off again. And we were here the other evening, and when I say Tom had to get the hammer at us, you know that way, and literally lash it over. So then we said, oh, well, maybe it's have to loosen up again. So we put the, the, the brake down again. No way, it just would not budge. So um, if anybody has any tricks, now oil, it's, I don't think it's anything to do with oil at all. I think it's bring the wheels back. I think it's bring the wheels back and get new ones. But listen, at this stage, they were screwed onto the, the end of the trolley. So we said, listen, well, it's not trolley, but it is like a trolley. We left it there. We said it'll do ground. So I'm looking for a few bigger uh, pieces. Sue Wade is on. She said it's pistachia lentis. Lentiscus, is that pronounced right? It's from the same family as the cashew nuts. It's on the far from. counter, Sinead, there. Okay, so we've got all that there. We have our resident expert on plants and flowers. And Sue Wales does amazing, um, three amazing cookbooks, uh, cook flower books. And it gives you all the information. And she even gives you the pronunciation. Yeah. So for anybody that can, can pronounce the names of the flowers or the foliage, um, she, she actually has it all phonetically kind of broke up for you. It's absolutely brilliant. Jackie Collins says, I'm sure, or Geraldine Collins says, I hope it's not a brandy because she gives the bourbon to the kids all the time. Do not say your kids are so great? But so good. They probably don't say it. Um, Gabriella is on and she's actually in from Australia and she wants to know about training as a florist with us. And can we really teach somebody online? The amount of people that ask us can, because I think there's this belief out there, and I think even among other florists, and they're saying that you cannot train online as good as you can train, like, you know, classroom-based. 
And I would have believed that as well. I thought exactly the same. But last night, because again, there were so many comments, you know what I mean, in different florist groups kind of saying, oh, you can't, uh, you can't train online. You probably can't train online with other flare schools, but I guarantee you, They're all coming school, Gayla saying, yes, yeah, you can. With our flare school, you definitely can. And I say this all the time, our online course, I might as well be in the kitchen with you, or you might as well be in the classroom with me, because it's so, um, it's so one-to-one. Ongoing support. The comments, Jeanette, you don't actually have to leave say, I think we leave it to the students. Oh, and yeah. they say, yes, 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 you can, yes, you can, yes, you can. Yeah, it just so. it was a bit of a, a, what would you call it, a conversation yeah. going on in groups or whatever yesterday and saying, oh, no, there's no way you can't beat the hands on. And I would have agreed with that as well. But listen, I'd love to say to them people, you come and do an online course with us. Because the thing that put me off at the beginning about gone, going online, I was saying, how can I teach somebody how to do a hand-tied bouquet online. That will stand in an aqua pack, the full works, brown paper, tissue paper, craft paper, porto boxes, you know the way, full selection of flowers, lilies, alstomeri, lisiantis, sea spray, foliage, etc. And I done it. Because I tell you, if I set my mind down to something, I will do it. And yes, it is a couple of hours of tutorial, and it's all done step by step. And I start them off the same way I taught them in the class. You know, the way they only work with muscles, they take it apart. I take it apart. They work again, they take it apart. I take it apart. They work again, they post it in the bloom room. And that's where our online courses are different. We have a bloom room. And half nine till half three, the bloom room is open. And it's like them popping in and out of the class, you know, the way, showing their photographs. They get feedback. If I've had bad to say, they get critique as well. That's how it works. And our bloom room is that popular. Like we have a class going on at the moment. And I told them, because even though I say half nine to half three, I work some of the evenings with them. I don't leave any of my students on their own. And like last weekend, they all got their flower delivery. We worked all Saturday, all Sunday with them, right? But this week I've warned them, the bloom room is closed. The shutters have been pulled down. The teacher's putting on her, her coat, her hat and her scarf and she's going home, you know, that sort of way. <laughs> but listen, anybody that's questioning about online courses, I 100% guarantee our online courses are not the same as any other online course out there that you just log in, you watch it, and that's it. That, and you get a certificate. That is not how ours happens. You know the way they have to submit work. You know the way they have to submit paperwork. It's done exactly the same as a classroom-based course. And if anything, I have found that there's actually a higher standard. And like when this discussion yesterday, I posted up photographs of like work that our students, they're only two weeks into their online program. They started module two last week and the photographs are two weeks ago. And the photographs that I posted on the Case Flair School page, if you get a chance, go and have a look at them. That's all the students work, none of my work. And this is students that have literally been 14 days since they signed up to the course. You know that yeah, says, um, did you tell them about your wired bouquet? Yeah, my wired bouquet, again, is just, you know what I mean? And I know I'm kind of blowing my own trumpet, but I am blowing my own trumpet because it's the best feckin' wired tutorial that's out there. There's nothing like it out there. I know for a fact, because I tell you, I researched online courses before I done my online course, and I didn't want it to be like them shitty online courses that's out there. And if you were to, again, I can, I can post them actually later on today, the all wired, um, all wired teardrop wedding bouquets that our students did in all orchids and orchids, orchids, as I'd say, awkward orchids, they're one of the most awkward flowers to work with. And our students made an all wired teardrop bouquet. As many flowers in a shop would not be able to. Do I that. know for a fact. I know for a fact there's lots of flowers out there wouldn't be able to do it. Definitely not as good as theirs. And like even the funeral wreaths that I posted last night, I have seen some shitty, shitty funeral work um, coming out of flower shops, you know, that sort of way. And then, and they didn't do their course online, you know, no. that way. So, you know, I mean, it just, I think people need to. Don't judge what you don't know. Your box. Yeah. Exactly. Don't judge what you don't know. Like turn around and saying it's not possible to train online. You're wrong. You're completely wrong. Because I tell you, our students are proving it. And in the last, well, six, eight months, whatever, since we started, like, the online courses, um, you can see we put an awful lot of work. There's hundreds of hours of tutorials. You know, like, it's not like you just log in for four hours. And plus then, they have full access to them. So even when the course is over, they still get, like, they have their 90 days access to Module 1. 
six months access to module three, 12 months access to module four. Do you know that way? And again, they get the full support that like they can always email us within hours, okay? And then we have the Bloom Studio, and that's where our students move on to. So when they're finished their training here at the school, they're not left on their own. When they're finished all their training, they can then move on into the Bloom Room. So again, they still have the support here from the tutors, but basically they get the support, I think, from all the other students. I so just think, I think people is, they're not in the mindset that we're moving with the times, not staying back in the it's past. It's like, I think, even um, wholesalers, like how often do we have to go to the wholesalers now or so? Yeah. Everything is online, do you know that As way? somebody said that the kids have to study online for college. Exactly. So why can't somebody else study online? And I know because it's Violet practical. says it was the teacher. Ah, teachers, teachers, Violet. teachers. <laughs> um, just back, uh, Richie is watching in from the Philippines. He's commented a couple of times. Hi, Hi Richie. Richie. How, how are you doing? How are you? And you know, I think we have to have a little shout out today. Do oh, you know, we do have a shout out watching? today. I don't know. She's watching. I take up my book. Yeah, we have to take. We have somebody but very special. Somebody very special. So we a Kieran. So a husband called Kieran. Got I think into it's a son. Kieran, oh, was a son? I, I don't know. I have wrote down husband. Okay. Maybe she has a son called Kieran as well. Could be. So it could be her husband. So Kieran Anderson contacted us about two weeks ago. And so either it's the wife or the mom. We're not too sure. Could it be? And maybe he's having an affair. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Kieran. So maybe Anderson is not a surname. So we have to just cover in case he's just having an affair with her. So anyway, Mary Anderson, I'm not sure if you're watching. I hope you're watching, okay? So Mary Anderson, it's her birthday. I think it's tomorrow. It's not actually today, but I said I'd give a shout out today. And she's 53. And um, she's a mum of three. So just in case anybody's trying to work out who Kieran's care having having be fair with, okay? <laughs> so Mary is a mum of three. She loves gardening. She loves crafts. She loves flower arranging. She loves anything to do with flowers. And she lives in Sussex, UK. We're really bringing this all down. Yeah. Everybody's going to be looking for Kieran on the bus that's having the affair with Mary Anderson. <laughs> so anyway, Mary, a big, big happy birthday to you. And we did send out something small to you about two days ago. You'll probably get it in the next couple of days. So I hope you have a fabulous day. I hope the weather is not shite in Sussex. You know that way. And listen, enjoy it. And should the 50s are the new 40s. It's grand. It that's is. it. That's it. Um, Alice says, from experience, you do get better feedback face to face. However, what else can you do right now online is great. Exactly. Yeah, and I don't agree though that you can um, you get better feedback face to face. Not with our courses. Not with our courses. <laughs> because as I said, it's basically like being in a classroom. You know the way they're posting their photographs. They're doing what the we have the students trained. They do a little video of what they're doing. They send me the video. And straight away, I'm in there then to give feedback and critique. The same way as if I was in a classroom and you'd have to wait till the teacher went around you. You know that way. But again, because it's over a longer period of time, like was gas, like some of these comments going up, like saying, oh, somebody doing an online course for a week. Our courses are done for a week. You yeah. know that way. And um, and what I'm doing here now, I better shut up and stop ranting, yeah, is I'm working ranting around now. the outside. There's of loads the... of happy birthdays coming in for Mary. Yeah, so uh, that's actually what everybody should do. Everybody should be wishing Mary a happy birthday. And I wonder, um, I wonder if Kieran meeting up with her tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so I Kira... think it's her son. I'm really sure it's her I'm son. really sure it's her husband. Okay, well, Mary, let us know, because if you don't comment, we won't know. And I know you're watching. You have to be watching. I, she's probably mortified now, saying, because she probably is having an affair. And now we all know she's in <laughs> Name is. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you wouldn't want to tell us that because I tell you. She's getting anyway, she's getting loads of happy birthdays. Oh, brilliant. There you go. She's on a shit day like this during lockdown. She'll wear else on you. And what other online school would wish you a happy birthday? And you weren't even a student. And there might actually be, Mary, something coming in the post to you. I did. I said that. Yeah. You're not oh, listening. Did say, I did. I said that. that. Sorry. You're, you're, you're um, on drugs over there, are you? You're not listening. Somebody well. Esther wants to know where can you get su Silver Sussex? <laughs> well, silver. most of the flower shops will sell a bunch of it. It's kind of sparse at the moment, and um, the growers are still cutting it. But what I'd recommend you to do is go and buy a plant. Now I know Yvonne down in Mylands Garden Centre. She has them for sale. What's the other plant that everybody was looking for? The the bottle brush. Oh, the bottle brush. Yeah. Again, not the proper name, but Yvonne knows exactly what we're talking about. And she's in Galway, but she's sending them all over the country. She is, and I think even to the UK. So if any of you contact, maybe Sinead might find a link for it. Mylands Garden Centre. Ask for Yvonne, 
Um, Yvonne is lovely. We've been out on a few sessions with her. She's absolutely gorgeous. And she'll definitely look after you, she will, because she looks after all the students and all the followers. And she has an amazing selection of, well, it's not just a garden centre. Like, to go onto our Facebook page and just look at all the gifts, it's one of them shops you'd absolutely love oh, to go say, into. Yeah. It's so the, um, Lorraine just said she missed what flowers you're using right now. So know? these are just Lysiantus. That's all they are. And again, you can go into your local flower shop and you can buy a bunch of Lysiantus. I'm possibly using about five or six stems. And I'm using a mixture of colours, okay? So I'm using a couple of the white ones. I have most of them kind of cut about that length, so whatever length you want to call it. And I'm just made a kind of a loose circle around the outside. I started off with a number one in the center, and I'm now just doing a little bit of filling in, filling in, filling in. But I'm not finished with it, okay? Because now I'm gonna just push it to one side, not finished, okay? I wanna go back to it, and I'm now gonna start the other one. Sorry, Jeanette, Jeanette, Jennifer wants to know, do you have to have a computer to do your online course? She has a tablet, will that work? A tablet would work, right? What a lot of them do is they Chromecast it onto a smart TV. So, so again, like talk about me being in the room with you. And they have found that has been very successful. I think um, a phone would be a little bit too small, you know what I mean? And again, there is lots of them. They listen to it on the phone. Um, a notebook would work out well. An iPad would definitely work out well. And if you had a laptop, it would be grand. And a lot of the classes, we also have um, theory classes. So what the girls do is they go out, like in the morning, we have like we have a session with them at half nine every morning. A bit like any class. You go into your class and your teacher is saying, how did you get on last night? So we have like a live class with them every morning. And then we encourage them for health-wise, obviously, to go out for their 5K walk. And then they can listen to their classes on their earphones. That's what a lot of them do. Um, Yvonne says, what's the name of the garden centre again, please? Mylands Garden Centre, M-I-L-A-N-D-S. So and Mylands in Galway, Garden Centre in Galway. I think Sinead is going to find the link and she's going to put it up for you. Um, that's on, but she's on Instagram, she's asking me. Um, oh. Eileen Pollard has, um, she's tried to buy silver sussex for months and she can't get it. Yeah, it seemed to run people were having problems with. And then we were talking to Yvonne, and I says, Yvonne, is there any chance of you getting it? I've actually a couple of these, Lizzie Ann's has cut a little bit short. So I'm owning up and saying I have them cut short, but I cut them short beforehand. And as I said, I wasn't really feeling the main rest. You know that way. Siobhan Reynolds says she's done the courses with just using an iPad and was fine. All right, there you go. That's great to know. That's brilliant to know. Jeez. Actually, something I haven't really asked the students what have they used. What have they used it to watch? Yeah, yeah. Um, what's the name? Oh, the garden should have that as well. Somebody wants to know how long would the Lysiantas last? The Lysiantas, now I have these in oh, about five, six days already. But so from the day that you buy them, you easily get two weeks out of them. They're a great lasting flare. And what you see is what you get. In other words, see all them little buds on them? They never open, okay? That one will open more, right? But them little green buds never open. So I love them for a bit of texture in an arrangement. You know, like when you stand them up and just to let the buds kind of stick up that little bit higher through the arrangement, I think it looks really well. And customers, now this is a little secret for you, right? Customers love to see buds. So what uh, florists are inclined to do is when they're making arrangements, say like little buds like that, is they put a lot of the little buds in and out through it. So them buds are never going to open, them little Lysiantus buds, but she, the customer doesn't know that because hopefully they haven't been listening to me. So they don't know that. Well, they must have loved me ranting. The numbers are right up today. Are they, <laughs> I just click and share. Everybody click share and let's get the word out there, okay? Because as I, just, as I just say to you, we depend on you to do, you know, click share for us. And that's how we kind of build up our algorithm. Yeah, algorithm on Facebook. So as you know, Facebook and you allow so many people to see your posts and see your videos and that. So we really depend, where we know you regulars that you will join in all the time, but we are depending on some of the the new followers especially. Especially, uh, what was your man's name in the Philippines? Richie. So Richie, we'd love now if you shared um, our video in the Philippines. That would Facebook would absolutely love that they would. Okay. Uh, Julia over on Instagram is saying you're looking fab, Janelle. Oh, thanks a million. Thanks. I'm actually starting to feel better, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was that little rant. I just needed to get a little rant out, out of my system there. Not like you to rant. No, it's not like me to rant. I'm never I'm never in bad humour. I'm not in bad humour. I'm not in bad humour. So I know my husband is watching fucking liar. She's always in bad humour. <laughs> <laughs> so what I have here is a couple of little pieces of sea spray or sea lavender or limonium, it's part of the limonium family. And straight away, people are going to say, oh God, there's a horrible smell off that. What we do, our, sm our smell's absolutely gorgeous here. We buy a bottle of Febreze in. 
So you know any of you that have kids or teenagers with runners and they smell awful, you know that way I know you should put them in the washing machine. But as a quickie, you spray them with Febreze. Or you know your curtains are upholstery and that. So Febreze doesn't cause any harm to upholstery, <laughs> curtains, runners and so on. If you spray it on the sea spray, it just gives that lovely ocean fresh smell. It's absolutely gorgeous on it. What are you laughing at? Uh, Perfect Petal says, you see, we can cheer you up so that they put cheer you up. But Angela O'Brien, and actually this is actually a very good point. She says, Deirdre, my husband would prefer the classroom-based classes because um, he now has me and Jeanette's voice in his head all the time. <laughs> I know, just was gas. One of those ones rang me there one day, and I said, "Yeah, it's Jeanette here." He says, "I know it's Jeanette." He says, "I'm listening to you all the time." He says, "I know the kids and all. I think the kids should be taking me off, especially the country kids should be taking off the Dublin accents." Yeah. So as you can see here, I'm lashing in the sea spray or limonium. Now another tip for you: if anybody is into aromatherapy and you have a um, lavender oil. If you get some lavender oil and put it in a water mister, mix it, you know the way, and spray it, like spray it on top of the limonium when it's in the bunch. The scent of oils off it, like lavender oil, and because it is that kind of like lavender colour, it actually you imagine, you know the way when something's kind of purple, you imagine that you should be smelling lavender off it. You know, you might just lift that up on the turntable just to bring it up out yeah. of the um rubbish behind you. There we go. Now, I'm not exactly finished it, but I put the other one on the, because I'm going to go move on to the other yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not finished that yet, okay? So I'm coming back to this one. Now, this one is a bit flat in the center, but listen, I'm not going to correct it. And the reason I'm not going to correct it is I'm putting a lid on it. So that can definitely flatten it. We like their hairs afterwards. So I'm not really bothered about putting them, um, fixing up the center of it a little bit higher. I would personally prefer it to be a little bit higher. And if we have any or know all florists are watching and they're probably saying that didn't come up high enough. I know it didn't come up high enough. But you listen, this is a fun class. This is what it's all about. This isn't really commercial. When I'm doing things commercial, I'm a lot more exact and a lot more kind of fussy about it. And I wouldn't be talking a mile a dozen at the same time. Somebody said that. Hey, that was actually one of all of, I think it was, says, how can you talk and talk and talk and yeah. talk? For the class, for this sort of thing, I can, you know, that way. But when I'm doing the actual classes, like the online classes, you know, that way, and they're all pre-recorded online classes, we, um, we're just basically telling you what you need to know, you know, that sort of way, so you don't have to listen to me shy talking. <laughs> Anna Shea says she loves your top and that a tan would look lovely with a that A tan top. would look lovely with this top, wouldn't it? Will you tell me, Holly the whole Martin, that I could do as soon as, now I'm after having my first vaccine, so I need uh, the second one. The 11th of June is the second one. And I did hear this morning on the radio that they're talking about as soon as people are fully vaccinated, that we'll be able to get away. I just can't wait. Now, this top is a little bit low. So that's a, neat, a hair band that I have here. to Hair clip. Because my boobs wasn't big enough for it. But I needed this size, enough for a bit of movement. But um, so it do, would look well with a tan. Um, Emma just wants to know, what's the rule of height? It depends on the arrangement that you're doing. Like people will say to you, uh, one and a half times the height of the container, but you wouldn't go up one and a half times the height of the container of these hat boxes. So I really think rules are there to be broken. Do you know that sort of way? Your best eye, your best judge is your own eye. And that's what I actually teach the students. And we have a whole class where we kind of go through, right, the rule is one and a half times the height, two and a half times, one and a half times the width. And then I show them, yeah, with this container it works, but with this container it doesn't. So I have a kind of thing I do to the students. If you think it looks too high, it is too high. If you think you have enough flares in, you have got enough flares in. If you think you need another flare, you need your no another flare. In other words, you're answering your own question. I'm just going to move this down lower so I can look down into it. It's just the, the, the work table is a little bit higher than our normal work table. So I haven't got my high heels on today, so I just need an extra little bit of height. So you can see there, I'm just adding in the sea spray in and out through it you know that way jessica and is watching and she said you look lovely. she should be working she should she shouldn't be dusting hey on tea break so jessica is going to be my future or is my future um daughter-in-law so yeah. god help her she's marrying me soon <laughs> <laughs> but i'm not going to say anything because he's living with her at the moment <laughs> No return, no return policy. No, no sale or return basis here. Okay, yeah, you have them now. You have to keep them. Um, Redmond says that it's beautiful. That loves us. Oh, thanks, yeah. Amelia. Don't forget, Nate, to put the, this is, that's the silk flare yeah. thing. So yeah. Move on to these next. So this is where I have my silk flare. Oh, geez, Mitch okay. McCartan has joined in as well. Jamie, Matt. they should be in work as well. They should be working. I'd say that's the Ben fella. I'd say it is. And I tell you, if any of the other lads were on site now and they were watching. Case, case Blair School, he'd be giving out to them. So we're now going to art, add in these little artificial, has Charlie told us the names of these? 
Uh, no, I think they're just fillers. He said, "Just little fillers." Mary O'Keefe says, "When asked how do how are you, all you need to say is it's hard to polish a diamond." <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Cherry says, "Hope you're feeling better." So, oh, yeah, Ring I'm a Rose, he says, "God help her." God help you. <laughs> okay. um, so there you go. You can see the way just adding them a few little. They're actually lovely going. They are actually aren't lovely, they? yeah. And like they actually look very natural looking now. I'm going to give us a few of the white ones. Sorry, I'm going off camera there for a second. I'm going to pick out the white ones and put them to the other one. Don't be fucking them up at the table there. They land in the wrong spot, you know. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to put the other ones. We'll go for the white ones. Now, do you know what? I wasn't mad about these at the beginning. They're highest and fillers and they're 50 cents. 50 cents a stem. Is yeah. there 50 cents a bunch? I'd say it's... Oh, I don't know. They're yep. actually lovely. And the great thing is, I'm putting the white ones into the other half box arrangement, is you obviously you pull them out. You know, when the arrangement is dead, you don't throw them in the bin. You pull them out and you'll be able to use them again. And as I said to you, they'd be great for when you're stuck. You know that way? And you could just do another texture going through your arrangement, which is what I kind of feel this actually needs. It just needs another little bit of texture going through it. Stem. Really, the stem, 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 yeah. yeah. Still very good value, you know yeah. that way. So for what I'm putting in there, it's probably only three euros worth, four euros worth. And that's just a little bit of the white going through that arrangement and a little bit of the purple going through, through that arrangement. If I only cop on spots, I can see my anchor tape is hanging down there. But that was one of the students. In the Zoom room, I'd be after telling them to camouflage their anchor tape coming down by sticking a bit of greenery upwards into it. But as I said, sure, this isn't a class. Like, it's a free class. You can do what you like with a free class, can't you? Okay, our lids. So... These are the lids that came on the boxes, okay? They didn't come with them wires. This is how the, what they looked like, you see, on the inside. So remember a couple of weeks ago, I showed you the wires covered in gutter tape. Well, all I did, it's like a little bit of an umbrella because it was raining this morning, do you know that way? Was I kind of attached five, or five there, yeah, five wires together, and then I sellotaped them, and see the way I have them spread out onto the inside of the box. So then I can come along with the scissors cut the wires and destroyed box yeah put our lid back down into the box and that's why i wasn't worried about this being flat because it's flat now so there's our lid on our box and there's our other one we cut this one a little bit shorter and again we put this one in here i needn't go down as far with this one because i got a better shape on this one there we go straight maybe leave to the side to the side yeah, yeah just as a difference yeah, yeah. that's pulling out my flares now sorry about that there you could go. put ribbon on to see the shape on this one yeah um, the gorgeous, yeah, loving them. Somebody says you can put, put a bit of ribbon on for to cover the tape. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you could do that. I haven't got time. You could use artificial fresh foliage and flowers, which we do intend yeah, to do. Yeah, we do, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, a third and of the screen is the white desk. That's just the desk. Sorry, Laura. And <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. Somebody, yeah. Somebody having a little rant, <laughs> but you know, and like, it's it's beautiful. Little, uh, wouldn't they be beautiful in a half box? You know that way. And again, whether you use fresh greenery or artificial greenery, they will be beautiful going through it. So I will. I'll do up the art, the larger box in artificial on Tuesday, and we will do the ring. And we're going to stick on Tuesday. Are we yeah, we'll stick it on we'll Tuesday. Well, you know us. We'll say Tuesday, but things could change. Yeah. But we'll give okay. you plenty of notice. We put up a post in the Facebook room the night before, just so you know. Just clear the table the a little bit. Um, it's probably a little bit too far over to the side. Ah, oh, Jeanette. But well, that was the magic thing. <laughs> they can see in the front that it's not. <laughs> <laughs> At least if you put it down your side, nobody sees it. There we go. Yeah, the hat on that box, just it's a little bit too far too to the far side, I think. Side. Yeah. So don't forget your hat if you want to go. Screen through. background and desk look fab, Brenda Clark. Olga says yay. Um, you're looking great, Jeanette. Ah, oh, thanks, Olga. Sure. Sure. Olga does tell me you're looking great because she's my, my best follower. <laughs> Yeah, all over there, yoga. Just nice. move that one over time, this bit. Yeah, just, yeah, perfect. Yeah, super. Yeah. yeah, you're done. Are we all done now? All done. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little bit higgity piggity all over the place, but sure, listen, it's live. It's what happens. If you seen me an hour ago, <laughs> two hours ago, Deirdre was saying, "Oh my God, will we go ahead?" She I knew say, we had to come on live to wish Mary a happy birthday. Exactly. Yeah, because your man. What would you call a mistress when it's a male? Mistress. Mistress. I don't know. What's the, anybody know the right word? She has my mom, Mary. She's probably lying in bed in shock that people think that she has. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a name out there for the male version of the mistress. You know the way the woman is always called the mistress. What's the man called? 
Miss Doris. Miss Doris. Okay, listen, thanks a million for joining us. I hope you Mary, if you lived closely, would have dropped one of them up to you. Yeah, absolutely, we would have. But she's in Sussex. No. So, and no. if I'm going to take a flight, I'm not taking it to Sussex. I'll be going further afield over to Lanzarote or Spain or somewhere like that. So, listen, thanks a and million. And just before you one, go, um, Louise wants to know when, what date is the cutoff date for Module 1? Module one, okay, it's starting on the 2nd of June, so I think it's the 26th of May, is it? It's a week beforehand, okay? So starting on the 2nd of June, which is a Wednesday, so I'd say next Wednesday is the cutoff point. Now, if you're planning on going for the grant, they close it a little bit earlier because it works on when the grants are used up. So for anybody that's living in Ireland and you're employed, now when we say employed, it's an Irish employed, as in you're working an hour a week. That's classed as being employed, okay? So if you're working and you're living in Ireland, you will more than likely be entitled to the 200 euros grant. So the best thing to do is give us a ring or drop us an email and we can send you the information on it. You might as well go for it. And I'm telling you, it's a brilliant course. And I'm not just saying that because we we obviously teach here at the school, but again, read the comments, go over to the testimonial page on our website and see what other students and past students, and like a lot of our students are florists from flower shops and see what they have to say about our training. Okay, Coco Rose says that she's in Sussex and Julie says it's Mr. I think as in you're having an affair. Okay. Rachel wants to know, can you pay for module one in installments? You can. Uh, Once it's paid in full before the Peg journey. says she loves the hat boxes, you make it look so easy. They are really easy. Wanda so says have a nice honest, weekend. Um, and like as I said, the three hat boxes come in a set for, what was it, 19 euros? 1950 I think it was. Something yeah. like that. Less than 20 euros for the three hat boxes. And like you can reuse them again. So all you have to do is take out the containers, you know that way, or if you give them as a gift to somebody, it's what we call an Indian gift. And I'm not being bad when I say that, by the way. An Indian giver. An Indian it? giver. So you give them the half box, but you tell them to give you back the half box when they're finished with it. Most people are delighted. So that's a saying we say. We're not being any way um, unpolitically correct when we say Indian giver. <laughs> Avril says, sugar daddy a toy. But God, poor Mary. Mary, we know that you're not up to anything at all. We just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Um, Coco Rose says, have a fab weekend. Love the accent. You say okay. what you say what accent exactly. <laughs> um Redmond says thanks, yeah. Loads of things. All Listen, saying hope you're feeling thanks better. Off, everybody. Thanks for Make everybody sure sharing. that you click share. That's the most important thing. So click share for us and we'd be all delighted. And hopefully we'll see you on next Tuesday and it'll be all artificial next Tuesday. Bye bye. And also there's a fabulous giveaway next Tuesday when I'm doing the artificial flowers from Evergreen Silk Plants. He doesn't know this, but he was going to get me to give it away today. But because I wasn't in the silk, I'm going to hold on to it, Charlie, until next week. That's it. Bye-bye, everyone. See you all. Thanks a million.